Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas and today's surfboard review is on the Twin Pin by Channel Islands. Now I've got two boards. This is a stock 5.5 coming in at 25.8 liters and this is a custom 5.6 coming in at 26.4 liters. Both boards are 18 and a half wide by two and three eighths thick and I'm five foot nine and 165 pounds. Now Aaron and I went up to CI headquarters to hang out with Brent Merrick and learn a little bit more about the twin pin. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. So Brent, we're here to talk about the twin pin. Yep. You and I have been fired up on twin fins, yep. exchanging text messages, talking yep. fin design. I'm, I'm just been stoked to be a part of you hearing you talk about it, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about the design and what sparked it and kind of what made this model. Yeah. I'm so excited about this board. I've been riding this board nonstop for months now and just can't get off it. Riding it all sorts of waves, um, loving it at Ringcon. I, I, I'm just so excited about this board. And it really comes from Mikey February. So he and I were working on twin fins. He was riding the CI Twin. The CI Twin is kind of a modern take on a twin fin, meaning it's got a single concave bottom, a fairly modern sort of uh, rocker, and a little bit of V out the tail. But it's the kind of twin fin where you realize pretty quickly, okay, it needs a trailer, mm. right? It's cool as a twin fin, but it needs a trailer to really have any hold. Uh, Mikey didn't want to have to deal with a trailer. And so he, he sparked this idea in me of, okay, we got to make a twin fin that um, never causes you to wish for a third fin. Because mm. the moment you pop a trailer in it, where I'm at right now, then that's cheating. It's, right. it's not a real twin fin right now. So he came up with the idea of the, the pin, right, the round tail hence the twin pin, and uh, he wanted to be able to push the board, he wanted to have hold, he wanted to be able to ride it from two foot to 10 foot, mm. so it's gotta be really versatile, it's gotta be able to grovel, but it also has to be able to handle solid waves. Cool. And that's what we've done in the twin pin. Part of it is in the outline, you can see it's kind of a racy outline, it's got mm -hmm. area forward, like a twin fin does, but it's got this pulled in tail, and the other part is in the bottom. Mm. I took the basic rocker curve of the CI Twin, because it's a good curve, mm -hmm. but changed it dramatically. I was working with Tom Curran on some twin fins, and he was showing me old boards that my dad had made him in the late 70s and early 80s, twin fins, and there was no concave anywhere in the bottom of the board. Mm. And he said, I want something like this. I don't, I don't want any concave in my board. And for me, I was like, uh, I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> I'm a concave guy. Like, I right. learned to shape in the early 90s. Like, sure. concave is everything. So that was a really good challenge for me as a designer and thinking about twin fins is, okay, here's the rule. We can't have any concave anywhere in it. And I think we're on version 14 of the twin pin right now. Wow. But man, we nailed it. So it's flat. The entry rocker is, as far as the contour, is flat. And then just in front, of center, it goes to a V, and then it goes to a lot of V out the tail. So if we wanted to kind of throw this, this square up there, you can see how much V there is out the tail, if you could see that, and it's got this V. And so all the way through the board, there's quite a bit of V, you could, you could see that. Mm. No concave anywhere in the board. Wow, cool. And yet it's got this great get up and go, a really flowy twin fin feel, but incredible hold. Mm. I want to make twin fins that work well for thruster guys. Because mm. most guys and gals are, are thruster people right. these days. Mm -hmm. But everyone's like, I want to ride a twin fin too. Not everybody has the time to like figure out the whole twin fin thing and go back to their thruster. We're sure. only surfing a couple times a week. So how can I be helpful as a designer and bridge the gap between our everyday thruster mm -hmm. and the twin fin that we want to ride now? And the twin pin is that board. It's the twin fin for thruster guys because you can get back on the tail and drive it from the tail sure. like a thruster. You can turn it from the tail like a thruster. It'll pivot off the bottom and square off the right. top, but it still has all that fun twin fin feel. Yeah. The speed, the flow, the on top of the water, the, all that stuff. Sick. So tell me, tell me a little bit about the fins you've been running in it, and I think you designed something new. Yeah. With was it really this board in mind that kind of triggered that design? Yeah, I designed this fin for this board. So 
generally you have two types of twin fins. You have the upright twin fin, which is like the, the classic MR template, mm -hmm. right? For us, it's the AMT, the Almeric twin. Yep. Or you have the keel design, right. which is really popular. That's what we're running in our fish beard, the right. AMK, the Almeric keel. Um, and I wasn't happy with either of those fins for this board. Mm -hmm. The upright fins were too pivoty and not enough drive okay. and not enough hold. Right. The keels were too much hold, right. especially for good surfers when they're coming out of the top. It was just too much hold mm. in this arc right here on right. the wave. So I needed something that was between them. So we designed this fin, mm. it literally sits right between an upright and a keel. Mm. And for, for me and for this board, it's been the perfect combination of drive, hold, and release. Mm. Right? Sick. So you, you can see it's kind of keelish. It's got mm -hmm. all this rake and all this area up here. Right. But it's also fairly upright. Sure. And it's not, you know, not so much area that it's super stiff. So it really generates speed well, but releases well at the same time. And it's a perfect pairing for this board. So we're releasing this fin with this board. Well, I can't wait to get on it, Britt. Thanks for breaking it down for us a little bit. Yeah. And uh, thanks for shaping me this one. Stoked. You're welcome. Now, after spending time with Britt, I hadn't ridden the twin pin yet. So when he talks about getting on a twin fin that you can actually push hard as you want, surf it off the tail and have that drive, for us thruster guys, that's a big deal. So I had um, high expectations for the twin pin. Now, where am I gonna get that hold from? The first thing I wanna talk about is the rail. And when I put it in my hand, I would say it's a lower apex and it's a bit refined, so it's tapered. And at two and three eighths thick, when I hold it, it feels more like two and five sixteenths. So the rail really is engaged. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about from my experience is the round pin. Water adheres to curve, right? So it really holds and this board likes to carve. And even when the waves were bigger and I've got a lot more speed, twin fins often feel like they're not gonna have that hold, that they could skip out at any time. And one of the things I liked about the twin pin is because of the V bottom and the round pin, it had incredible hold and I actually liked it in bigger surf. One of the things that I experienced riding V bottom twin fins in general, and I experienced it with the twin pin, is that the faster I go, the board wants to sit down and then it wants to engage the rail. And with this board being 18 and a half inches wide and that V bottom with the round pin, it acted exactly like Britt talked about. I could put it on rail and I could hold it and the bigger the wave, the more the, the board sat down and the better it felt. Now I wanna talk about the fins I tested. This is Britt Merrick's new fin that he designed for the twin pin with Mikey Feb. Check out these waves. Now that you've seen a few waves, the twin pin with this fin's feeling great. Like I said, the board in general has good hold. This fin has a pretty good size base, good fin depth and surface area. So the two together had great hold. I really felt like I was getting maximum drive and having the hold I was looking for, especially backside. Front side, I feel like twin fins in general are easier to control and surf and backside is always the true test for me when I ride a twin fin. Coming off the bottom and doing a turn at the top, at the peak of that turn, it seems like my weight is a little bit more even, evenly balanced, and that's when I'll get the drift or the tail will start to slide when I don't want it to. Now with Brit's fin, I did get some um, release and that felt good. I felt like when it was releasing, I still had control and I think you guys will like this new fin 
not just in the twin pin, but you should be trying it in a bunch of different twin pin boards. Now, my first session on the twin pin was at Kelly Slater's Wave Pool, riding my signature high performance twin fins. Then we carried it into the ocean. Check out these waves. Now that we've seen a few waves on the HP Twins, it's drawing different lines. It's a bit more radical. This fin's a little bit more upright compared to Brit's fin. It still has a good amount of rake with the wide base, so I have the hold and drive, but I'm getting to the lip quicker, it's a little quicker rail to rail, and now I'm starting to feel like I'm even drawing more of that higher performance shortboard thruster line. Now, the twin pin in general, because of the V-bottom, the way it wants to sit down and engage the rail, with the pintail offers that traction and hold. And I really feel like you can change the characteristics or the lines of the board a bit just by changing the fins. Now I did run the HB kills and kills have a wider base, more uh, width in the fin. And then a lot of times they go a little bit more fin depth and a good amount of rake. And I felt like I got a couple fun waves on the HB kills, but it had a little bit too much hold. So whatever fins you have, when you get the twin pin, I suggest writing it first and then adjust from there on what it is that you're looking for on the lines you wanna draw on the twin pin. Now after writing both boards, which did I prefer? Now we started in Kelly's wave pool, nice hollow barrels, waves got some push and power, and the five six was feeling great. Going into the ocean, we had great waves for this review. So pushing it in some bigger surf, I preferred the five six. I want that extra rail line. I'll have more hold, more drive, and utilize the rail to my advantage, and it really settled the board down nicely. The 5.5, when it was bigger, felt a little bit out of control. And I thought I would really like the 5.5 when the waves got smaller. I want to put a twin fin in one to three foot surf, right? Well, because it's so narrow, both of them are 18 and a half, it doesn't have the width for that surface area for me to generate a lot of speed in smaller waves. The other thing is the V bottom and the round pin, since it's so narrow and pulled in back there, I talk about the faster I go, the more it settles down and keeps the rail engaged. I kind of feel like in one to three foot mushy waves, this twin pin in general, I don't care which size, it wouldn't be my first pick. Why? I need something that sits on top of the water if I'm gonna generate speed. So it's not much of a groveler in my opinion. Now. Where would this twin pin fit in my quiver? If you're a twin fin guy, I believe this is four to eight foot plus. This board likes the speed, it wants to be on rail, and like I said, you can push it as hard as you want. As opposed to most other twin fins, when you get a lot of speed, I mentioned this earlier, they feel like they're gonna slide out. So the bigger the wave, we have a tendency to gravitate away from the twin fins and go to a thruster. With the twin pin, four to eight foot plus, I'm gonna take a little bit more rail line, so 5.5 at 25.8 liters, which is in my liter range, or jump to the 5.7, coming in at almost 28 liters. Well, if it's a mini step up and I'm gonna ride it in bigger waves, I'll take the 5.7, I think you guys will be happy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on the Twin Pin. I highly recommend it for that intermediate, all the way to pro level surfers, best in four to eight foot plus surf. Special shout out thanks to Britt Merrick for joining us on the show, breaking down the twin pin and sending these boards down for review. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss an episode and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.